We have an array of products to assist you in all your beauty or body needs. Do you want curly, soft, beautiful hair? Well, try our relaxer line, designed to leave your hair soft, silky, and full of body. Or would you like beautiful, straight, shiny, long-lasting hair? Well, try our cherry or extreme hold spritz with our cream shine. It's guaranteed to give you that look you want. How about dry, achy feet or legs that you can't seem to keep moisturized? Well, try our African Shea Butter Foot Lotion. We have many products to help you with all phases of your beauty and body needs. For a full list of all our products, please visit our website at www.aeasysilk.com or call us at 313-277-2319. Just sitting here looking over my life, Lord. Let me take inventory. Can I take it? Can I take it? Cause I know you. I know you. I know you've been good to me, Lord. And good morning once again. This is, of course, J.D. Hill coming at you live uh, by way of our great station here in the city of Highland Park, 160 Victor. And as always, we thank God for this glorious opportunity he has afforded us to assemble here once again. And of course, to my big brother and the CEO of this great station and his uh, lovely wife and family, uh, we want to thank you, uh, the, the Tyler family, and uh, we just want to thank everybody. Mr. Tyler, uh, you just never know, my friend, what an asset you are to all of us and this great station. And of course, Miss Cunningham. I would, I would just, I, we just say our darling, our darling this morning. She's there this morning, a lady of integrity, a lady of enthusiasm, multi-talented, and always uh, taking care of business. And it's just a pleasure when you can walk in the, in the door after, you know, sometime when you have these uh, uh, trouble, you know, it was troublesome nights and you don't sleep properly, you're not feeling good. And when you can walk in and just to uh, have Miss Cunningham uh, with her uh, excellent voice just to uh, say hello and how are you and it, it, it just means a lot and you know and she asks what can what can I do for you in the midst of what all that I'm doing is there anything that you need and I always say Miss Cunningham just uh, go on and do what you are doing you're doing an excellent job and we are proud of you all over the world so we want to thank and give credit where credit is due and once again to my uh, good friend and big brother CEO of this station, Mr. R.J. Watkins, who is just, uh, he, he doesn't stop. He doesn't stop. Every time I feel that I, uh, he has just about got us to where uh, we, we feel comfortable, but comfortable but he won't let us remain in our comfort zone he will uh, of course get a another uh, level that we haven't even anticipated and here he here here he go again because he's concerned about the great people that we are and he he realized that our time is now and it's uh, it is incumbent upon all of us to realize that and go for it for ourselves and want to thank once again uh, my my good friend and uh, the the uh, brother Harvey, uh, he, he's just uh, 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 with with the hair doctor. All that the hair doctor has groomed him and 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 just worked with him and with him with the products. He's in love with the product, and it seems as though the product is in love with him because they they just got this niche together. I was uh, observing before I left home this morning, and and I, I went in. I was checking it on the TV, and when he came on with his presentation, I said he, he he's he's good. He's on his way now. He and so. See, I'm, I'm uh, the hair doctor. He's the type. He's he, he's just uh, a gregarious person, a company loving person, and he's a very protective person. And uh, when he has, uh, when Brother Harvey is here with him, uh, he does everything to make uh, Brother Harvey comfortable. But when it comes to me, the hair doctor will tell you, I will throw you out in the wilderness, and it's for you to find your way out. So when I called him on yesterday, I said, brother, I need you to go on in. I got to do some work for the hair doctor. Got to take his big baby to school, and uh, I'll be there late, but go on in. 
and he, and he was ready. He was ready. And so this is a, a I just want to say to all of our young people, all of our young people, this is what uh, we are trying to do. Uh, people of my age and stage, and when you see uh, the, the, the phenomenal, uh, uh, the excellence of uh, Mr. R.J. Watkins, uh, we realize that we are not going to be here always. We realize that our longest days are behind us, our shortest days are in front of us, and so if we want our uh, energy, our legacy to live on, then we must not be reluctant to pass it on. And the hair doctor has done an excellent job, and I'm, I'm so proud to have Brother Harvey as a, 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 the team member. He's just been there through thick and thin, and he's doing real well. And I have another one of my friends this morning. Uh, uh, those of you out in radio land and TV land, uh, well, I want to present to some, introduce to others, uh, my friend who will who will always be there for us. He go up to Inkster area if I need something on the east side or wherever it is. He's always there, making himself accessible. And I'm talking about the one and only uh, brother Paul. Everybody know him. Everybody basically know him. So I want to say to you this morning, good morning, Mr. Paul, and how are you? Good morning, Mr. Hill. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Harvey. Right, all right. Good Dittos morning. to what you said about R.J. and Henry mm -hmm. and Miss Cunningham up front and most wanted running the, the oh, sound. Yeah. Yes, yes, and Sean. This yeah. is a surprise right now. Thank you. I'm blessed right here. The weather's great. And, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Well, yeah, well, you know, you 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 you're still a member of the Church of Accountability. You know, when I when I hit the Church of Accountability, you were there. You were there. You was one of the first there to come and join up, and you were there in the morning. You uh, you and the hair doctor, you would have everything just nice and clean. You was uh, uh, bringing uh, uh, parishioners uh, to church and from church, and and you've just been an excellent ass asset. And we we whenever I have an opportunity, I just want to you know uh, thank you man for all of that you're welcome we have a lot of old videotapes of those uh you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i bet you do have a, a pile of old yeah. yeah yeah well that's good and that's the thing that i like about you paul you know when we used to go to places and uh we had to set up at the church of accountability where you had had your video and you was the video man and you and you just had everything right there and it wasn't something that i had to come to you and say paul i need you to do this. i need you to do it you would just take that initiative and step on up and do it yourself and man i just appreciate that welcome now right now what we are, we are going to do uh this morning we uh uh are paul and, and i want you to weigh in on it also and then we're going to go over to studio b and get the perspective from from uh mr harvey uh mr harvey i think he was um and if, if Miss Agnes, if you're out there, Miss Agnes, I know that uh, uh, we had talked and you're going to call in this morning. We are waiting for a call on you uh, and uh, just call on it. But, uh, uh, Paul, from your perspective, when we look at what is happening, not only in Detroit, not only on the east side, west side, south side, or north side, uh, when we, we see the, um, it, it seems like there is a, uh, 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 you know, I don't know this, this demonic spirit uh, that's that's not only going after uh, people in general, but uh, specifically, it it it, it seems as though just lately they are focusing in on the young young people, the babes, uh, basically in arms that that doesn't haven't even stepped on this uh, uh, the, the threshold of life, and their life is being snuffed out. So, Paul, quickly, what is your uh, take on that? You we talk about the young man that. Uh, uh, somebody murdered, and uh, then then the young lady that was uh, the the young girl that was uh, there, and uh, about eleven years old, she stayed with someone, and and uh, so Paul, give give me a, a little take on on, on what, how do you feel about that this morning? Well, when Mr. Harvey earlier was talking about you know littering, the what the littering that you know okay, this it's, it's a, a youth thing. Mm -hmm. But right now you're in a place where you could be afraid to okay. say, "Pick that up." Hey, what are you doing? Okay. Or because you could get killed now. Okay. By okay. trying to say, "Do the right thing," mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's just really uh, you might not even want to honk the horn at somebody or look at them. Yeah. You know. Is that something? Yeah. It's it's and with the weather getting like this now, mm -hmm. uh, you know it's going to be worse because yeah. people are out there, mm -hmm. but. It's, it's starting with yourself. You, you, everybody should know what's right or wrong. Mm -hmm. I mean, but littering, you know, I went through that phase myself. Okay, okay. And then I was at the point where, you know, but telling people off and even the friends I hang yeah, around yeah, with, yeah. And workmates. Right. I was in the truck with them and they would be throwing the McDonald's right out the window. Yeah, yeah. 
told the man, don't be doing it. He goes, it's my trash. Oh, yeah, I'll yeah. do what I want yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's, left it at that. Okay, we'll get back to that in a minute. I want everybody to know also, um, once again, uh, the, the vision, uh, the determination to uh, go to the mountaintop, Mr. R.J. Watkins, once again, with this um, uh, WHPR TV is now on demand. You can just pick up your, you can just pick, take your cell phone and, and, and go to WHBR and, and, and click it on. It's right up there on demand. The various shows that uh, air here by way of our great station, you can go there and, and activate uh, those, um, uh, those shows. Uh, you, uh, and, you know, 24 hours, seven days a week. And, uh, you know, catch us. Uh, you, you want how you want, where you want it. Watch your favorite TV show on demand. We are now on demand at your demand. WHPR TV, uh, Detroit, Detroit, and uh, on demand dot com. Uh, sure. And, 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 and now let's go. Oh, let, let's take this phone call, and then we're going to go over to Studio B. Um, and uh, uh, Brother Harvey, try to uh, keep that information that we were talking about. We're going to come back. I want it from your perspective, also. You've been out here, yeah, uh, 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 in this in the streets of Detroit. I'm yeah. j just saying that yeah. in general. That's you've right. been out here. Uh, you've been through the school system. Right. And how do you compare uh, the the time uh, uh, when you graduated up to now? But let's take this phone call first. Okay. Carla, talk to me this morning. How are you? Good morning, uh, J.D. and Paul. <laughs> so good, good morning, morning. Hey, Paul. Good morning, <laughs> good morning there. <laughs> All, right. All right. And it sounds like the voice of Miss Agnes Hitchcock. Yes, it is. Yes, and, it is. All right. Uh, pleasure. <laughs> All right. And I just uh, want to call in and see if I can motivate the people just a little bit more. Just a look. You mean you mean now, uh, Miss Agnes? Now I, I heard. I was talking to Gladys Knight uh, last night. <laughs> And uh, she called me back, and I don't know whether a plane flew over somewhere down there at Philadelphia, and she saw about three lots out there. And yes, uh, she did. You heard it right. Gladys was, is that what Gladys was telling me? And You heard it right. And You, you, you heard it right. You may not need to motivate nobody. You think you can uh, uh, accommodate uh, what is about to happen, you know, because you were anticipating that this time of the year it would be nice and cool and everybody could just sit out and all. But this hot weather, now, uh, Miss Agnes, you were telling us we got to go back grab what we had in the south and just hold on to it but to come over to philadelphia over there tomorrow am i right you're right okay. you're right <laughs> give, give and, us and let we i, I want to make an invitation well, to sure, some special sure. guest sure we're gonna have on our agenda we have a place for atonement atonement oh. <laughs> atonement <laughs> any politician clergy community leader or activist mm-hmm who betrayed the trust of the people and feel sorry for it, we're going to set some time by where they can apologize and give the people some restitution for what's been done in the city of Detroit. Mm, mm. But let me back up just a little bit sure. to, uh, to start. Mm -hmm. This is the Blackenau Island Conference. Now say that again. The, the, the what? Blackenau. Blackenau. Conference. Now how, how, did See, you, how did you come about that name, Blackenau uh, uh, Conference? Well, we can see the politicians, mm -hmm. the business people, they go to Mackinac okay. and plot, plan, scheme, whatever it is that they're going to do mm -hmm. in the state of Michigan. Okay. And Detroit's been the recipient of so many of those plots. We've been decimated. Our school system's dismantled. Our houses are gone. Our communities are trashed. Mm. All of that. Mm -hmm. That takes place in Mackinac. Okay. Well, we need to have our own... Blackenau. Okay. They go to Mackinac. Mm -hmm. We go to Blackenau. Okay. So what we're going to do this time is we are going to gather up on June 4th. We have a special invited guest speaker, uh, Michael M. Hotep. Okay, June he's 4th. An is African June, historian. June 4th is when? Definitely huh? for the community, and he's going to be he's going to be here and speak. Okay, now June the 4th is when, Miss Agnes? June the 4th is Saturday. Okay, that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Starting at? Starting at 1 o'clock to 6 o'clock p.m. Okay, now go, go back and uh, continue on with, with the, your, your guests because I, I, I hope okay. Well, I just wanted to make note mm -hmm. that Michael M. Hotep mm -hmm. is our guest speaker. Okay. So uh, he's going to be here, but the people, the people are important. Okay. We need to make a statement here in the city of Detroit mm. that we intend to participate in the... Come back 
next Detroit, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Because I'm here and I'm not going to place. Okay. This is it for me. Mm-hmm. All right. So what we need to do is we need to, uh, people keep saying, we need to do this. Mm-hmm. We need a private school education for our children in the city of Detroit. Wow. Because the schools that are being developed are not for our children. Okay. So we have enough educators, educators, administrators, retired, who already have a paycheck. Mm-hmm. They have a pension. They have insurance. Mm-hmm. We need development of a private school, private school in the city of Detroit. Mm. Everybody can't pay tuition, but the community can step up and help. We pay tax after tax after tax Mm -hmm. after tax to support Detroit public schools. Mm -hmm. We need a private education for our own children. Okay. Okay. In the area where I am, Oakland Avenue is bare. Mm -hmm. There's great opportunity for business and commerce. Mm -hmm. And by the way, vendors are welcome. All vendors are welcome. And guess what? Mm -hmm. There's no fee for a vendor spot. Wait, Miss I So any see. person yes. in your listening audience mm-hmm. who sells something or knows someone who sells something, mm-hmm. bring it over, put your table up, and pitch your products or whatever it is that you have. Mm. Okay. Children are welcome. Okay. You can bring bicycles. The traffic's not bad over here. It's not heavy. As a matter of fact, I might like to see a kid because I don't see one often because they've all been driven out of my community. Okay. Every school over here has pretty much shut down. Mm, mm-hmm. So at the Black and All Island Conference, we're going to develop a plan. If you have a plan, if you think we need to do something, come over here, get a spot, pitch your plan, and recruit, group, excuse me, recruit mm-hmm. you some people and go forward with it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it goes from 1 o'clock to 6 o'clock in the evening on the 4th. That's the time that we're going to mix and mingle and uh, present our plans and recruit our people. Okay. On the 5th, the groups that have a plan that they've been able to recruit help with, then you come back on the 5th and we get down to business. Okay, okay. Uh There is a planned caravan through the community. Mm -hmm. We might need to mark a little territory over here. Okay. (laughs) Mark that territory. So that it's known. People come through mark, marking territory in our neighborhood from time to time. Mm-hmm. Let's mark some territory over here off of the Q line. Okay. Let's mark, mark some territory in between Woodward and I-75. Mm-hmm. So we need you to stand up. Mm-hmm. We need your body. You say you can't do anything. If you don't have any fear, come out and participate in the Black and All Island Conference. Right. And by the way, um, we were at the what, at the midnight hour. Mm-hmm. We could use a little help. Yes. Anyone who can uh, help prepare for tomorrow, mm-hmm. the phone number is eight seven four two seven nine two. Okay. There is food that will be prepared and it will be available. Okay. There is setup that needs to be done. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to track down a public address system. Mm-hmm. So it, I think it's really going to be an event not to be missed. All right. It's, it sounds like it, Miss Agnes. And mm. I, I know that by, by you, just, you, you know, you're getting involved. This is the first time, you know, you, I mean, o- o- at Black and our Island, uh, you have about, what is that, three lots over there? Uh, yes. Where, where you are? Yeah. Yes. And, and so I understand that uh, a, a, a party, what do you call those? They, uh, you, Porter John will a, be a, available. A Porter John will be available there. And uh, so, I, you know, I just want to uh, commend you and congratulate you for stepping on out. And, uh, you know, uh, just because there's enough work for all of us, uh, Miss Agnes. No use of us uh, trying to uh, sabotage anyone else uh, with all of the work and, and the robbing, the stealing, the carjacking, and the baby killing here in the city of Detroit there's enough work for all of us so we don't need to be envious and jealous of anyone am I right, right. absolutely all right absolutely okay now miss miss Agnes I want you I'll be here God's will tomorrow morning from uh, 10 to 12 I would like for you to call back in give us an overview of uh, tomorrow morning uh, if you have the energy and you you say that look JD I want to come in for about 30 minutes because I want to uh, just tell the people just be my guest and come on uh, by, by way and you'll be here at the JD Hill show so uh, the ball is in your court okay 
I certainly appreciate appreciate you. Mm-hmm. And once again, this is one of the assets of having WHPR in the community. Yes, yes. I can get on the telephone this morning, mm-hmm. uh, reach out to people, ask for some help, mm-hmm. and we can make this a better place to live for the people who are here. Mm-hmm. And it's just a great opportunity. So thanks to you, thanks to RJ, Mr. Tyler, mm-hmm. Michelle, mm-hmm. the engineer, <laughs> and the listening audience. Yes, ma'am. And um, it's a wonderful thing to be able to call in and ask for help. Okay. So if they want to get reach out a hand, the mm-hmm. phone number is 874-2792. 874-2792. Okay. And we're having the Blackenau Island Conference on Philadelphia between Jenna and Brush on Saturday, June 4th, and Sunday, June 5th. Now, now, uh, when, when we say on Philadelphia, I, I'm here at the station now. If I go back uh, to Woodward out there, do I turn? would I turn right or would I turn left? You would turn left. Okay. That's going south. It's oh. in the Woodward and Boulevard area. Okay, okay. Um, you, from the station, you would pass um, little, historic Little Rock Baptist Church. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chicago Avenue is on down that way. Okay. If you get to the boulevard, you've gone too far. Oh, okay. All so right. it's about a half mile before the boulevard. On Philadelphia. On Philadelphia, between Jenner and Brush. We got you. We got you. All right. We'll have signage that says Black and All Island Conference. Okay. And it just can't be missed. All right, <laughs> and, and okay, I just want to thank you, Miss, Miss, Miss Agnes, and uh, for all the work that you, you've done over the past and what you're doing now and uh, your ability to energize the community. And, and we, we bid you Godspeed, my friend. You take care of yourself. See her tomorrow. Thank you very much, J.D. Thank Great you. Call. All, right. all right, goodbye. All right. Goodbye. Okay, uh, let, uh, if, if we could, my friend Sean, let's go over to Studio B and see what... Um, uh, Mr. Harvey has to say about the young people, and maybe he want to tap in on the Black and our Island uh, a little bit. Uh, uh, Mr. Harvey, uh, thank you so very much this morning for sitting in for me, and uh, I know that your respect and your admiration for the hair doctor and all that you're doing. So getting back, um, just step on what Miss Agnes is talking about, then let's go back to the young people again. Well, uh, and, and good morning to you, Miss Miss Agnes uh, Hitchcock. I, I'm I've watched her over the years, and I'm I'm great. I'm a fan of her because uh, uh, she was she was one of our mothers. Okay. Uh, in her work, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I think what she's doing with the Black and All Island mm-hmm. that uh, that's really sticking mm-hmm, mm-hmm. with me because it's 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 about us. Okay. And I know that's where she's coming from. Mm-hmm. We got to start with us. Mm-hmm. And I just think that's a great thing. I uh I look forward to being there. Okay. Uh to see uh this unfold. Mm-hmm. So I so uh, you know, Agnes, what can we say? Mm. She's 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 our mother okay. in the struggle. Okay. All right. Uh so I I I feel like that's a great thing and we appreciate you for that uh Miss Miss Agnes. Uh now now, uh, let, me, let me ask you, of course, as you go over there tomorrow, okay. is there a possibility that you will have your products, uh, any of your products Ye- with you? Yes, I I could have the products, yes. Okay, yes. okay. Yeah, all I right. could do that. Mm-hmm. I will go and set up and um, and participate. Okay. Yes. All right, all right. Uh, and um, now, with the uh, young people, mm-hmm. uh, re- oh, real quick, I just want to give a quick shout out mm-hmm. to the job seeker. Okay. I meant to do that earlier. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wanted her to know that she is appreciated mm-hmm. uh, in helping uh, promote sure, and sure. being a team player. So yes. if you're listening, uh, Job Seeker, you, you are greatly appreciated. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, the young people, uh, you know, we, you know, what's, what has to happen is that we have to uh, the 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 older people mm-hmm. uh younger parents and older parents mm-hmm. we just have to get back to parenting okay uh that word means something mm-hmm. just like a lot of words have meaning mm-hmm. and they have power and influence okay we have to stand behind those words mm-hmm. and live them out 
Okay. Now, yeah, we have young parents. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be young parents, but they are. Yes. It's just like uh, it's just like you never you if if you if you never really been hungry. Mm. You don't know what that's like until it's on you. That's right. Mm -hmm. But what will happen is when you reach that point, mm -hmm. you know exactly what to do. Okay. Mm. So with parents, young parents especially, we want to we wanna say to you that it's too late once that baby get here. You have to snap out of it and be a parent. Okay. If you don't know how to do that, mm -hmm. You can always ask somebody. Mm. All right. And people will be glad to tell you. See, we got to get rid of the excuses. Mm -hmm. if, I, if I was talking to a young person and I talked to them, mm -hmm. I, I handcuff them with all of that mm -hmm. what ifs and, and all of that. Mm -hmm. I just let them know, look, ain't no excuse. It's too late. Mm -hmm. You did the act. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to mm -hmm. act on it. Yes. 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 If we don't parent, then who's the watchman? Mm. It's really that simple. And then the reinforcement is the older parents, which mm -hmm. are the grandparents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, don't, they shouldn't have to be the primary parent, mm -hmm. but they're just the reinforcement. Sure. So that's a structure mm -hmm. base mm -hmm. that has to be in place, and it takes not being scared, mm -hmm. you know, no. for that to work. No. See, if you, when, you, when, you, when you're scared mm -hmm. or when you want to make an excuse or when you're leery mm -hmm. then you you can't be effective okay all right let's uh let, let's uh, if we could come back over there studio a i want to get paul's perspective on it also mm -hmm. uh paul when you when you consider back in in your day in time uh were were you uh one of these uh young young men that came up thought you know er everything and you was uh, involved in you know it wasn't as, as as treacherous as it is now but what happened in your day when you look at what is happening now well i really think the school system is a letdown for any kid growing up i don't just say you know not kid i mean mm -hmm. you, know, you know yeah i know what you're talking about yeah but uh they don't have what we used to have mm. and you were afraid to act up in school because they had corporal punishment and you saw <laughs> if you acted up what was going to happen oh, you yeah, know yeah. i got paddled i seen oh, yeah. a lot of bad things you mm -hmm. know but so that side of it well that leaves it up where the parents can't even mm -hmm. you know discipline yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, like so. Yeah. No structure. And uh, the schools were old when I went there. Redford was built in 1919 or something, and mm -hmm. or, not quite. But at least now it's turned into a mire. Mm -hmm. My elementary school is abandoned. They sh they, it's a historical site. They don't know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. But uh, everything is just like you look at it, and they're great structures, but with no kids now around. And uh, it's going to come back. But it should start in the neighborhoods, really get, we need policemen, we need residency, we need the police to get paid more than a man getting tips delivering pizza. Well, so, and, and, and also, also, Paul, when we, when we uh, look at um, how the structure is, is set up, um, when you, you, you touched on, like, like, okay, the government has basically taken over the kids. You know, you, you can't really uh, uh, use that paddle anymore. And, and uh, you know, in, in the school, uh, that, that discipline, the, the teachers, some of the teachers, uh, you know, is, is afraid of the uh, students because, uh, and, and some of these uh, mothers and fathers at home, you know, if you try to chastise yeah. the student in the school, then you look around, here is the mother or the father coming up, and they, they are performing in front of the, the class. And, you know, when you are when you are young, you, you, you get this macho. You know about it, uh, uh, Brother Harvey. And, yeah. and, and when yeah. somebody come up and act out, and they they like shame the teacher down uh, uh you know that's like your hero you know the person yeah, that right. that did that and don't yeah. and you don't realize that your life is being put in jeopardy i think about the young man and this is over in the in the area on the east side that uh i don't know what actually transpired but right. when you when you when if if it was money involved and you picked up the money whether you're gonna, gonna take the money and and at all you know i've been young I've been young, and and and, and 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 this is no reflection on uh, the family at all. But I'm talking about I've been a young man, 
And I've done some stupid things. Yeah, I'm not saying right. that, that, that this is young man. I've done some stupid things and right. whatever I could get away right. with, it, uh, Brother Harvey, yeah. if it was money or something, <laughs> I saw right. it, nobody was, was, was looking, you know. It That's just what a we did. But now that I'm a man, uh, Brother Harvey, you can, you, you can leave out of here. You can leave $100 on that table over right. there. I know you was the last person at that table. Right. I'm not going to be satisfied till I take that money up to Miss Cunningham. We've right. been in contact with right. you right. and right. try to give some information. And, 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 so, and, and to even uh, pick up a young man and take a young man to another area, and the young man has lost his life, and then you got another young lady, that uh, uh, somebody kept all night long, you know, it, it's something I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I would have if if I saw a young lady that time of night, and uh, she was walking. Immediately, I would naturally try to talk to her. But the first thing I would do, if I'm going to do anything, I'm going to take her to the nearest police station. Or right. uh, you come here, baby. I'm going to call some police. If the police don't get there in a certain time, if I know where the uh, precinct, I'm going to take that right. baby right there. Right. I'm not going to leave her right. until I, I find. So it's, it's, it's a whole lot going on. And, and, yeah. and, and it comes back uh, to uh, where we are, uh, Brother Harvey. As black men and black women, here's Paul, you know, he, he's right here as, as, as a white guy. And so, uh, you know, he blend all in. So the same thing happened in the white community and, and even worse in the white community than it does in the black community. But, but we can't use anything as no excuse if we want to save our young people, man. Right. Excuses is out. And this is why it, it is so important, my friends, all across the world that uh, Mr. Watkins has, has sacrificed to the utmost to provide a format here at WHPR where we are, are, are broadcasting all over the world and a lot of people are being helped right now. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we, we'll look at it and say, well, you know, uh, y'all ain't doing nothing over there. Y'all ain't doing nothing but just talking. But here is, it, it just may be down in Toledo, Ohio, mm -hmm. that here is a person just about to engage in the same things that transpired right. here in the city. And just by Brother Harvey this morning talking, yeah. by Paul talking this morning, right. by me talking, it just may transform, uh, uh, you know, that's, that person's life. What right. do you think about that, Brother Harvey? I, what I think about that is just what you said. Mm -hmm. that the communication mm -hmm. don't underestimate communication mm -hmm. and the power of words yeah we do this because we know it's effective mm -hmm. there's a lot i said it earlier there's a lot of people that's uh listening like uh sometime the head doctor will say it uh we know that there's a lot of people that are are, are quiet listeners yeah yes, yes they may not call in but right. they're listening yes and when you know how to use the right words mm -hmm. Uh, to articulate something, uh -huh. you, it's imp it's important that we know how to communicate uh -huh. because uh -huh. that's how you will reach people. Yes, yes. And don't underestimate it. It uh -huh. works. Uh -huh. You uh -huh. just can't be scared to talk. Uh -huh. You do have to know how uh -huh. to say it uh -huh. at the right time and for the right reasons because all of that, all of that translates to a person. Uh, it, it, concerning their attitude at that point in time. Sure. You have to know how to say something to a person at the at the right time for the right reasons where it don't uh cause them to uh backfire mm -hmm. you know uh but you but you can't hold it back we must talk to the people and he, here's here's the thing that i, I found out uh, brother harvey mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. uh i'm a god man okay uh, you are God, man. Yes, Paul is yes, a God, man. In our right. own way, we we don't get hung up in in, in man made, woman made, right. organized religion. Right. We just believe God. Yeah. And 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 here is the thing I've discovered. If you have a connection with God, the spirit, the spirit, the spirit would move you on on certain time when to talk and when not to talk. You got to know when. You, you right. got to know when because yeah. sometimes it's just not appropriate, especially, say, for instance, if you got a group of young men mm -hmm. and you know this macho at it, you know, yeah, we, right. we, we see it all the time. Right. And so what I do when I see them, you know, I, I, I meet them sometimes like with a smile on the face. How you doing, brother? And yeah. I, I see what they are doing. Well, right. But I'm not here to to down you or criticize right, you. Right, right. And, and and I'll watch and I'll see the person that is like the, the, the pivot person or, or that that so called leader. Yeah. And when I see that person maybe like by themselves, you know, I come up and talk to brother, what's going on? What mm -hmm. what you know what mm -hmm. uh, you know, you know 
And after a while, after I break him down with all that old macho stuff, yeah. then I begin to share information with him. There you go. So That's right. we are living at a time when they didn't get the structure in the home. Right. They didn't, you know, and they didn't get the structure in the school. And here it is. When it get to us, yeah. man, it's just about too late. But but we still have a job to do. We that's there. You, we still have a job to do, man. See, that's that. You just hit it. We got to do this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because we know what we're looking at. Yeah. When we see a young person, uh, you know, acting a fool, mm -hmm. doing things we know, it's just you know, however, the pants sagging. Sure. We know that mm -hmm. that uh, that came from. N not so good situation. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Something, something, something was missed. Uh -huh. Something was dropped. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And we, we, we don't. And another thing, we don't. We, we got to get out of this judging people. Uh -huh. That's not. That's not going to work. Uh -huh. You'll get slapped in the face or knocked in the mouth uh -huh. judging. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We got to stop that. We got to deal with people where they at. Uh -huh. Okay. And then we can reach them. That's what. what that's what I like. Uh, uh, trying. Your, that's why it's so important. Learn all that you can, man, along yeah. this journey called life. That's right. Some of the difficulties that we go through, it, it, I always feel that, that God is just preparing us for that mountain we need to climb. And, and in the process, all that you learn along the way, share it with the young That's people. Right. Right. It is so important for this station, WHBR TV 33. Yeah. And, and we should have more uh, of the stations like we have. But thank God Mr. R.J. Watkins didn't sleep on his dream. And as a, as a result, this morning, we are saving somebody's life. Yes, yes, and, we are. And, and here, I, when I saw you this morning, like, uh, 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 presenting the, the, the products. Yeah. Some young person out there, and, and we, uh, you know, we always refer to this as our success kit. Yeah, And, right. uh, Brother Harvey, what, uh, if I can get enough energy, uh, and, and, you know, I talked to you the other day about private labeling. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, even for my graduation class, when we are coming up for uh, the, the, the anniversary on the graduation class, mm -hmm. I'm going to just, uh, and, and the hair doctor know how to do it, uh, we, we'll put a label on it for that school that I graduated from. Okay. Take Very these products right down there. Because from the time I left up to and including now, Brother Harper, nobody has done anything. You know, we got our houses, we got our cars, yep. and, 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 and we like to say that, oh, I got my nice brick home, I got two cars and, and the driveway, but, but we are going to hell. I mean, we are in hell, <laughs> yes, man. We are in hell. And, and, and see, with all of that, uh, and, and if you live long enough, you realize that all that you have acquired, I mean, uh, this materialistic stuff, ain't nothing but stuff. Ain't nothing but anything. Lives are being lost. Right. And we, 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 we're followers, man. We yeah. got And we got to start being leaders to yeah. some degree. Mm -hmm. uh, and knowing where we belong uh -huh. and we got to make uh sacrifices we got to be willing to give up uh -huh. some of those things that we call fun yeah or or comfortable uh -huh. we got to give that stuff up uh -huh. to to uh to prepare for a long journey of work sure see that's what we're here for is to work i had to make that sacrifice uh -huh. Uh -huh. you know i was not a uh i was i i, I never was a young reckless uh, young man, I, I I had my share of of activity mm -hmm. out in the world, uh -huh. but I always had my eye on what are these positive people doing, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. you know, and that just kind of I, I learned that that was where I belonged. So I so I kind of you know hung in there uh -huh. and and said, okay, this is gonna take patience. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. This ain't nothing overnight thing. It's gonna right. take patience. It and once I locked into that. I was able to go on ahead and, and be what I needed to be, mm -hmm. and that's how I winded up in the right circle. I want to say right. one okay, thing. and let, let's let's come back over to Paul, and 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 I know all the lines are full, and we'll get we'll get with you, caller, in in just a second, please. We'll we'll get we'll mm -hmm. we'll get we'll get with you in just a second, yeah. uh, caller. And uh, after I get off, uh, caller, yeah. I'll 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 give you a call on my cell phone. You keep calling me, okay? <laughs> uh, but but Paul, uh, give give us a, a take from you. Well. This is uh, around the early 80s. Uh -huh. I had a boss, Al Petroni, told me, if you don't do anything else, put $10 a week away. Yeah. And back then, I, you know, that was like, what? Uh -huh. But if I just would, and that's advice for anybody to yeah. start now. Yes. And, it, and yeah. if you're young and you just do that, it's going to pay off. Yeah. 
It yeah. really is, a, and I, I didn't take his advice, mm -hmm. yeah. but I still, you know, think about it. Why didn't I do that, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, you, mm -hmm. you, you would have been a top of the game mm -hmm. now, man. You just think, and, and that's why, you know, with, with somebody like uh, Mr. Harvey over there, and I, I would say, and, and even me and you, if uh, somebody had uh, taught us and, and educated us in, in the, yeah. you know, the process of uh, the difference between uh, what, what, what we want and what we need, mm -hmm. yeah. and if we could have just focused in on what we need and, and, and to continue to improve that, to amplify that, yeah. because once you come into the knowledge of the things that you need that's going to empower you, you will discover that all of those wants that you are seeking after ain't nothing but just stuff, yeah, man. That's it. And now we done live to the point now we, uh, we need to get rid of the stuff. We, we <laughs> die, we leave it, here's somebody else coming with yeah. all of that stuff, and what you thought was so important, somebody give it away. Yep. It's not worth anything. <laughs> and, 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 so let, let, let's go to the let's go to the phone lines real quick. Carlos, you have to uh, be quick because what we got to do, um, we only got a few minutes left. Uh, Carla, talk to me quickly. How are you? Hello, JD. Hey, how are and, you? And and uh, Mr. Is that Mr. Paul? That's that's Mr. Paul. Yeah, I, I've got a quick question for him, and then I won't go into what the topic is. Are you related to the man that owned the drugstore, Paul's Cut Rate Drugs? No, no. I know who you're talking No, not at all. Uh, okay, because your voice and his sound of me. I know he's deceased now. Yeah. Now, uh, Mr. Uh, Harvey had a great subject earlier, and this ties into what you were speaking about. I saw this happen yesterday in action. Mm -hmm. I'm behind this car. It was kind of fun to me, and it started to take off. The passioner just is nonchalantly, you know, like all casual, like it's everyday business, mm -hmm. threw garbage out of the window on the, on the curb of my residential street and the busy street. And I'm here in Pontiac and just went on about their business like it was nothing at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. They, yeah, they do that. They don't see the police or something. They they think they're going to throw that garbage. Mm -hmm. I mean, that makes the whole city look bad. You know, I've seen that a lot of times. Oh, yeah. That yeah. It's, it's, it's just disgusting. And yeah. these are people, and yeah. I'm just sick to how that man killed that little boy over that money. I mean, you know, that's a, it doesn't make sense, and it got to stop. Okay. So I agree with Ms. Agnes and what's your topic today. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just, just has to go to it, all over everywhere. We got to yeah. find emergency ma manager and ourselves. Yes. So, I mean, we, we, we could stop. Uh, we could probably start with ourselves, and then we could we'll start moving into that emergency management and get them out there. Yeah. Okay, call me tomorrow morning. Okay. God, God's will, I'll be, here right. from 10 Thank to, you. I'll be here from 10 to 11. If you would like to call in, continue on, uh, call me tomorrow morning. Uh, Paul, uh, did you have something to say? They thank you, uh, Mr. Paul, cut rate something down, downtown. <laughs> no, I not at all. Just, uh, <laughs> Time has flown by, and you know, it's when Agnes was talking uh -huh. earlier. I love her program. You oh, yeah, let yeah. her come on on Tuesdays, and uh -huh. it's been 10 years since she's had her stab him out ball. Oh, great. All right. Had, uh, <laughs> All right. We'll, All right. we'll see what happens this summer. And right. this facility that we're in, I recommend people to come down here and check out what you call Victor Boulevard. Or oh, yeah. Lockings I mean, the Boulevard. Plaza, you know, I mean, just, just, uh, yeah. it's, it's awesome. You just, have just, to yeah. see it yeah. to understand it. Yeah. And it's the same thing with uh, Mr. Love's new facility that Son okay. of Man oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 reinvented. Okay. Uh, you have to see it to understand, yeah, what, to understand. understand. what they what right, they right. did. Right, right, yeah. And, uh, yeah, and and and, and uh, uh, brother Harvey, there there are those uh, of us who are doing something. We are just not talking. Right. That's why the three of us this morning are here because we are entrenched to a degree with our, our products. We know that we got an excellent product. So yes, we thank do. God to the hair doctor. And I, you know, uh, Paul, I know you want to say you want to say hi to the hair doctor out there this morning. <laughs> hair doctor, yes, I love you. Take care of yourself and. Thank you for Mr. Hill right here. I, you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what a guy. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. And I, I do want to say, I, uh -huh. I used the soap continuously for years. Okay. And I now have just started, honestly, mm -hmm. with the foot cream. Okay. And it's not just for your foot. Right. It's for every part of your body, yes. honest to God. And it yes. smells great. Mm -hmm. That's right. 
And I need another, but a bigger tub this time. Yeah. <laughs> so. And and and, uh, uh, and Brother Harvey, we know that Doctor E is up at uh, 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 Jay Paree up in Inkster this morning. I know you want to say hello to her because well, she she has been instrumental in in helping to navigate you to yeah, where you are now. She definitely was, and it, uh, uh, she's watching. I'm so glad that you're watching. How you doing, Miss E? Uh, she was my introduction. Uh huh to uh african easy silk she brought me into the membership okay. she gave me my first 15 minutes uh -huh. on the air uh -huh. so i'll never forget that and um uh we we thank you for uh you know helping out uh your dad and uh just being a part of the team as you always have been uh -huh. and we just appreciate you and um uh, i appreciate everyone that that gets involved with uh with the discussions that we have here uh, because we mean to uh, resurrect the minds of everyone. And even though we are the speakers on the air to you, uh, we also continue to be resurrected. You know, mm -hmm. I get a lot out of this. Um, uh, you know, it's not, it's not me just talking to you. Mm -hmm. It's you talking to us and we building each other up to a place where we could never fall again. All right. This is this is definitely a, a, a good work uh, to communicate. Okay, and so I believe in that. All right, and and with with the product line right here, brother Harvey, they need to get in touch with you. Got to give them that uh, your number. That number. Okay, they can they can reach me at that hot number. That's area code three one three two nine six five five seven eight. That's area code three one three two nine six five five seven eight you can call that number 24 hours all right 24 hours you can call and leave your um leave your uh, uh, uh order on the voicemail all right and uh I, at, at the earliest hour mm -hmm. i will get the message and i will contact you all right all and right th thank you my friend yeah. now uh i want everybody to keep it locked here uh at uh uh, what is it? At uh, nine o'clock, uh, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Brenda Perriman guest uh, at nine o'clock on her show would be uh, uh, the dentist, uh, Dr. Livingston, mm -hmm. and I, I, I got to check with with uh, him also because uh, the you know with with my plans and everything, I don't I don't like where I've been going. They don't change so much, and they got mm -hmm. so many other folks in there. And they they speaking, and I don't know all of these. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, so we we won't go there. But also, uh, uh, Miss uh, Marcy. Miss Marcy uh, Allen, who raised sixty dollars, uh, thousands of Flint residents. Uh, she's going to be here uh, also, and at t the ten o'clock show, Congressman Brenda Lawrence. And you know, if she's going to be here, con con Congressman Brenda Lawrence mm, and and uh, uh, Dr. Brenda Perriman, she's going to really get into the depths and and get some uh, uh, information that that really uh, is is beneficial for Flint and Detroit and the world. So you you got to keep it locked here for mm. the Brenda Perriman show. Just right. outstanding. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Yes, and, she and is. Lawrence and the Black Pilot Association. Now we only have just a few, a few quick seconds. Uh, uh, Dr. Perriman is coming in, calling you on the line. I must apologize, but I always get out the way when the teacher is coming in. We are the students here, <laughs> so when the teachers show up in the classroom, we started making, we started making transitions That's to right. get on out of here. So call us, those who are on the line. Uh, call me tomorrow morning from 10 to uh, 12. God's will, I'll be here. A quick word, Paul. Say goodbye to him. Real quick, I also want to say, late at night, who runs the show is a lady named Shirley, and All right. she's special. All right, uh, uh, Brother Harvey. Okay, quickly. real real quick, uh, be good, stay safe, and continue to pray. Thank you, and, right. and, and let us continue on and try our very best to uh, take look out for our young people, do the best that we can, and be examples for the young people. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to do. Thank God for Mr. R.J. Watkins, Mr. Henry Tyler, Ms. Cunningham. Thank God for everybody all over the world, and thank God for the show that's getting ready to come up right now. Yeah. Our friend, your friend, Dr. Brenda Perham, Dr. Brenda Perham Show. Paul and, and everybody, let's get out of here and make room for the school teacher before right. we get uh, a slap on the wrist. <laughs> You're watching W33BY, Detroit Highland Park, Michigan.